Oh, uh, who is this? Who is this, guys? Oh my god, they can have their first kiss already? Have you guys been talking behind my back? He's beautiful. everyone welcome to another episode of the royal family in the last episode we focused a little bit on the royal family of brindleton bay specifically prince james of brindleton bay and we tried to find him a possible future wife so we kind of started pursuing lady tina of oasis springs so prince james took a liking to her right away we also got to see that lady jill of oasis springs she is pregnant with king adrian's child so she is one of three mistresses that King Adrian has. And she is actually married now to the Duke of Willow Creek. So she has become the Duchess of Willow Creek. So we will get to see her a little bit in this episode as well. But in this episode, we are focusing on the royal family of Windenburg. We have a Sim that has grown up into a teenager and she is like the talk of the town. So we will get to meet her because I think there is a little bit going on with her. And I just feel like all of the boys, like noble, common, royal, they are just just like loving her like she has become just this huge talk of the town and I think maybe Princess Amira might be getting a little bit jealous so we'll get to check that out in this episode but if you are excited for this episode don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications so you never miss one of these videos and let's go ahead and play the royal family okay guys we are starting at the Windenburg Palace so I think all of the little kiddos are about to come over should Princess Amira invite over classmate Prince Francisco. <gasps> you guys, Prince Francisco is Prince of Oasis Springs. He's the one that Princess Amira tried to make Prince Johan uh, jealous with, if that makes sense. She tried to flirt with him to make Prince Johan jealous because Prince Johan wasn't flirting back with her. So it's interesting that she invited him to come over. So, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then should Prince Kellen invite over classmate Prince Michael, so that's his girlfriend's brother. So yeah, sure, of course. They should probably get a little bit closer if he's dating his sister. That's really cute that Prince Kellen, I feel like, would try to get to know his future brother-in-law a little bit better, a little bit better um, by inviting him to come over. So I feel like Princess Meghan was like a huge fan of that. So why is he super, super uncomfortable? Because sweltering, it is hot outside. Oh, the thermostat is set to warm. My bad, that's my fault. I should probably set that to cool. Okay, the thermostat is set to cool, so we are all set now. So it looks like Prince Francisco is here. He should probably... Oh, he knows Prince Francisco very, very well. So that's good. Princess May is... Oh, she's sick? Oh, no, she's feeling feverish. That's not good. The llama flu. Ugh. That's not good. Okay, take take some medicine, please, because they, you, you don't want to have the llama flu. That's not good. I actually really love her hot weather outfit, you guys. It's really, really cute. The medicine doesn't help the llama flu. What is she supposed to do? Princess May has caught the llama flu, which comes from the weather of and or having poor hygiene. I'm assuming it's from the weather because I don't think her hygiene is bad. Well, hopefully she feels better soon. That's kind of stupid that medicine doesn't help that. Like, what's the point of that anyway? Okay, so Princess Amira has invited over Prince Francis, but she doesn't seem to be hanging out with him at all. Oh my gosh, if her cousin, Princess Belle, found out that she invited over Prince Francis, she would be in huge trouble with her cousin. Her cousin would not be happy because her cousin, Princess Belle, has like the biggest crush on Prince Francisco. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna end up together because I think their parents like the idea. So that's just really, really interesting. So Prince Kellen, you invited over Prince Michael. Oh wait, I thought she I thought he knew Prince Francisco really. Oh no, so he's really close with Prince Michael. That's it. Okay. So he's really close with Prince Michael, which is the younger brother of Princess Meghan, or the, her twin brother, but not so much with Prince Francisco. Maybe you should probably get to know him too, even though you did invite over Prince Michael, but one of one of your siblings, someone will entertain him. Ooh, Princess Meghan, or not Princess Meghan, <laughs> Princess May wants to compliment Prince Michael's appearance. I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna see what happens there, because that's kind of interesting that she wants to compliment his appearance. He's a lot younger than she is, but I mean, I don't know. That's kind of interesting. If things don't work out with Prince Johan, she should probably have like a backup. So maybe Prince, Fra uh, Prince, I almost said Prince Francisco. They look exactly like maybe Prince Michael could be her backup. Probably not the best idea to have Princess May flirting when she has the llama flu. <laughs> she probably should be in bed. Her and Prince Michael are like super, super close though. And they're flirting a lot right now. So, so that is a possibility, you guys. Even though I think Prince Michael was flirting 
with uh, one of the the two, like one of the two noble girls of Willow Creek. I think it was Lady Helena who he was flirting with. Guys, it looks so hot outside. Look, you can see like the waves of heat and everything. Oh gosh, that looks. This looks so uncomfortable. I would not want to be in here. I think everybody should be inside right now for real. Okay, so the sim that I was talking about that everyone is kind of going crazy about is actually so right now she's become. Fr oh whoa 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 wait wait, wait, wait this is her. <laughs> This is, okay, so this is Lady Arya. So I don't know if you guys remember her, but as, even as a child and a toddler, I was like kind of obsessed with her. So she lives in Oasis Springs. She has been like the talk of the town. And actually she's kind of similar to like Lady Amira in her like hairstyle way. Like, like I'm pretty sure they actually have the same hairstyle. I feel like Lady Amira has like kind of befriended her because she knows to like keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. I feel like she kind of has this like jealousy going on with Lady Aria, but she has not shown that yet. So they are just like their friends right now. Um, and I think we're gonna try to get her to. Oh, I don't know why Bubbles is like randomly growling. I don't know what he's growling at. Oh, there's nobody here. Just calm down, you're fine. So Lady Aria, she's actually is named after the Queen of Oasis Springs, not the current queen, the the, the past queen. Uh, so her parents just like really love the queen's name and they, they thought they would name their daughter that too. So she's just like really, like she's so kind, she's really smart and she's just super sweet and she's really outgoing and cheerful. So she has just like makes friends pretty much everywhere she goes. So that's why she like, she, just cause she's so friendly and she's gorgeous and beautiful too, that it's just why like everyone has been talking about her and how amazing and like gorgeous she is. So I feel like Princess Amira was like, oh my God, I have to meet this person who everyone's talking about because I feel like she thought there was a little bit of competitions going on. So I think it's funny that she's actually here right now because I think Lady Amira might have, or not Lady Amira, Princess Amira might have invited her over. Oh gosh, Princess Amira and Lady Arya. I think I might get those names a little bit confused. Hopefully not. Looks like someone's calling King Henry right now. Oh. Who is this? Who is this, guys? I agree, King Henry. Was he texting her or something? Okay, so I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm kind of curious who this person is asking him. Cause I don't, I don't recognize. Is that Lady Ava? I don't recognize her. But someone's asking King Henry out. Guys, we haven't like had anyone who we thought like might be possible romantic interest for King Henry at all. So I'm wondering who this woman is. Okay, so guys, this is Lady Ava. Wait. Hold on, why is there a romantic relationship with them? <gasps> I swear I did not. I did not do that. But it just is hanging out with friends. It's not like a date or anything. But oh my God, you guys, this is like, he's like interested in her. <gasps> okay. I think King Henry might actually have to put on a disguise or something. So we might need to find a mirror because otherwise we're going to have paparazzi everywhere and it's going to be really irritating. So I don't, I don't actually, I mean, there's gotta be a bathroom on this lot or something. But like, we definitely need to find a mirror so he doesn't have to deal with the- Is there a bathroom on this lot? Uh, okay, good. I was like, that's kind of an issue if there's not. Um, so where's Celebrity Disguise? Because otherwise it's not- Yeah, you don't want to deal with the paparazzi. Who is this child just standing here? That is a random, random child. I do not know who that is. Oh my gosh, guys, so this is Lady Ava. Wait, hold on. She's like way younger than he is, I'm pretty sure, because I was kind of considering her as an option for Prince Kellen, but then she grew up because she was like older than Prince Kellen, but like- younger than King Henry. She's gotta be like a pretty young adult, I think. And King Henry is an adult, but he's wearing a disguise right now, so he won't. Oh my God, they can have their first kiss already? Have you guys been talking behind my back? He's beautiful. And I, I already liked her a lot before, but oh my gosh, you guys, she's she's really pretty. And I know, okay, I know some people were super against King Henry remarrying, but like, don't you think Queen Alice, like even if it is like, they want King Henry, like I, a lot of people said because they want King Henry to stay true to Queen Alice and stuff. But I think Queen Alice, she was such a good person. I think she would just want King Henry to be happy. And I think that she wouldn't mind him remarrying someone else. And like, it's been a really long time, guys. I mean, like our three kids, like Princess Amira, May and, and Kellen, they were, they were kids when their mother died. So now they're teenagers. Princess Amira is going to be, oh, is, are they done hanging out already? Um, uh, Princess Amira is going to be a young adult pretty soon. So it's been a really, really long time. You're going to have to tell me what you think. I, my opinion, I would be fine with him and maybe Lady Ava having a thing. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. You guys have to 
tell me what you think because I oh they're going swimming together <gasps> oh they're super cute you guys they're like being silly and stuff together you okay well that, that apparently their friendship just went down and I don't know why but oh my gosh you guys oh wait no I did not mean to modify our cat oh crap okay hold on okay I've, I've made it back to them so they are just swimming together it's so weird that this like whole pool thing exists underground it's really really cool and this is like a cafe which is so interesting to me is she swimming in her dress um that seems weird I mean I guess it would be really scandalous for her to be like in a bathing suit because she was wearing like a bikini like that that's a little bit scandalous especially for like this whole like royal series like to me I feel like the royal series like most of the dresses and stuff are pretty conservative but then like for our dynasty series like everyone is scandalous so it's kind of funny so she just went swimming in her hot weather outfit I guess okay I I'm probably gonna leave it at this whoa she's going downstairs again there's even more downstairs to go um but yeah I'm probably gonna leave it at this because I want to get your guys's opinion first I actually really really love her and lady ava is like super like she's always been really sweet and i mean she's been a friend of the family for a while because she knew their kids for a while she can't be that much young like she can't be she's gotta be a little bit maybe closer to age that to king henry i don't know maybe princess amira would have a problem with her being so young and like think it's weird but then again you never know guys i mean princess amira might be okay with it maybe her and, and lady ava get along really well but yeah i mean lady ava looks really young like she's got to be almost the same age as as princess amira but i don't know guys okay yeah you guys have to tell me what you think i think i'm gonna leave it out here and we're gonna head back back to the kids of windenburg okay so we're back at the windenburg palace poor princess may still has the llama flu she should probably be in bed like we should probably force her to sleep sleep i don't know if that's gonna do anything but just in case we should probably make her sleep i kind of wanted to even though it's like 1 a.m or almost 2 a.m i kind of wanted to text prince michael because there was a little bit of flirting going on there so maybe we'll just text him and, and see if anything happens with that okay so princess amira you guys i'm kind of thinking she might sneak out uh yeah maybe um or maybe she'll invite lady aria over again should we just tell lady aria to come over here because i kind of wanted to focus on her a little bit and i don't know i feel like with lady aria so i just I, I i she might even be though guys a possible marriage candidate for one of the royals i can't think of who right now maybe we'll just, well no if we invite her just to hang out on the current lot then she's not going to come because it's 2 a.m so i love this uh mc command center because now i can like tell people to just come here and it's great uh okay so i want to invite over lady aria and she just appears right there and it's super simple okay maybe i should change her hairstyle just a little bit only because i feel like if she has the exact same hairstyle as princess amira then princess amira would kind of have a problem with that so maybe we could i love that you can just like change her outfit in here and then uh, maybe princess may okay so i think she must have texted prince michael they've already got such a friendly relationship going it literally cannot get any higher but i think she's gonna text princess Mi or princess michael prince michael and maybe prince johan too i'm just curious whoa whoa wait hold on what oh my god you guys prince kellen i think is interested in lady aria lovebirds wait why does this keep happening why do romantic relationships keep forming that i don't know about wait but prince kellen is dating princess megan and their girlfriend and boyfriend and he likes lady aria <gasps> oh maybe it's not like maybe it's just a crush like i said a lot of guys like her a lot and maybe he just when did he meet her that's my thing i get are they meeting each other at school and like romantic relationships are forming? But like guys, okay, now that you see her, isn't she beautiful? Like I think, I think she's beautiful. She's so unique looking. And look at these gorgeous green eyes that she has. Like they're, they are beautiful. So, okay, yeah, I, I, I do have a custom content hairstyle that is like somewhat similar to this hairstyle. And I'm pretty sure it's actually like her party hairstyle. Yeah, so this is very similar to Princess Amira's, but like also a little bit different um so i think we're going to do that one even though it is her party hairstyle i don't know if we'd want to keep oh there's this one too though uh no that covers her earrings and the earrings kind of like make the outfit there's this oh wait i don't know if i like the bangs on her to be honest oh she looks pretty in that one too she's just pretty i like her a lot this is ooh. I think that one looks really good too the other one like the hair is just really big Okay, oh uh, yeah, but, but like it makes, it, it's such like a show-stopping hair. So I don't know, like do we like that one? 
Or do we like that one? I actually think I like this one. Well, I don't, but this one, it like makes her stand out more. I like this one, I think. I think we're gonna go with this one. I think eventually I'll make a second outfit for her that has like the other hairstyle. But for now, I think we're gonna keep this. And she looks beautiful in this dress, you guys. It was a little bit, like, I don't know, a little bit risky just because like, look how high the slit goes. Like I wasn't sure about that, um, but I think it's fine. I don't think it's too much. Like it covers a good amount still. Yeah, if you guys want to see, you can see like this is her formal outfit. It's super classy and super cute. The only thing is like the train like is like levitating, which is kind of weird. She's beautiful, you guys. This is her party. This is interesting. So this is her party outfit. It's very different. But she's also from Oasis Springs, so you have to keep that in mind. So actually her formal outfit is like a lot more similar to like Willow Creek or Windenburg, really Windenburg because it's like pink. But then also this one is like a little bit more in line with Oasis Springs and it's really elegant still. So yeah, so okay, so we changed her hair a little bit. So now she's not exactly like Princess Amira. So Princess Amira can't get like too upset, but I think she still thinks that she's probably copying her hairstyle a little bit. So I feel like Princess Amira would kind of like try to get close to her so she could question her and try to find something that she could use against her. I totally feel like that's something Princess Amira would do. So I think she's gonna try to do that. But then like also, I'm not sure how I feel about this relationship with Prin with Lady Arya and Prince Kellen. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I guess he didn't have to stay with Princess Meghan his whole life. Like, I don't know, but, but also she, they're just, they're really good for each other too. So I don't know, this is gonna be difficult, you guys. I'm curious, okay, so Lady Arya's, uh, I just wanted to see who her parents were. So her parents are the Earl and the Countess. So they're not like super high up nobles, but I mean, she's still a noble and she's beautiful too. <laughs> so and she's just like super, super sweet and really outgoing and stuff. So yeah, I don't know, you guys. Um, Okay, so maybe Princess Amira though, maybe she should just try to, maybe, maybe, let's do, let's do some mischievous stuff. I feel like she would totally spread rumors about woohoo. That sounds like something she would do. So I think she's gonna definitely try to do that. You just, you know, Princess Amira, you guys know Princess Amira, and this is definitely something she would do. Okay, Princess May, you need to go to bed because you're still, although you're feeling very confident right now. Huh, interesting. Okay, and you should probably also do your homework. Oh no, and she's back to being sick again. Okay. Okay, so Princess Amira has only reached the mischief level skill of two. I feel like it should be more than that. I feel, okay, spreading rumors is totally her thing. Princess Amira would totally do this. So she's gonna keep spreading rumors. Although I feel like Lady Arya would be like, like, okay, haha. -ha, like, I feel like you shouldn't talk about people like that. Um, maybe instill with false confidence. I feel like she would totally, totally do that. Oh wait, no, where's she going? Come back, you have to instill her with, yeah, instill her with false confidence. Uh, although I feel like Princess Mira's like, all right, I've had enough of this. Um, but so a instill her with false confidence and then, oh wait, no, not romance. Maybe, um, give fake bad news maybe? Trick with ham, tell urban legend, she could do that. Although I don't know how that's like, mischievous like if you want to tell a legend you can tell a legend okay so i feel like she's trying really hard Let, let's spread another ass nasty rumor i feel like she's trying really really hard to like get some dirt on her and she might be getting frustrated because it's not working and their friendship keeps going up too so i feel like she's like trying so hard but like she's like why is this not happening okay maybe she should act tough i feel like that would be pressure to conform mm. Maybe that throw shade. Let's let's just throw a little bit of shade and let's see how she takes it. Okay, Prince King or King Henry, you can like you're kind of in the way here. I don't know why you're here. You kind of need to leave. Do you know Lady Arya? You don't. You might want to introduce yourself to Lady Arya. Do a polite introduction. Although you're just standing there in your bathing suit right now. Um, it does look like some friendship went down and her empathy is going down too. Princess Mirror's empathy is going down a little bit too. Should she apologize? I don't know. I feel like Lady Arya would kind of be like, um, I don't know what's happening. But yeah, I mean, okay, so she couldn't get any dirt on Lady Arya, but they're pretty good friends now, or at least Lady Arya thinks they're pretty good friends. I don't know, guys. This is, this is strange. Okay, well, Prince Kellen... Oh, you guys are gonna have to tell me what you think. Should he, should we like try something with Lady Arya? I don't know. I don't know. He likes Princess Meghan a lot, you guys. So we'll, we'll just have to see. I'm kind of waiting to get your opinion on that and with King Henry and Lady Ava. So you guys have to tell me what you think about that. But 
for now, I think we are going to go see, uh, well, now Duchess Jillian, but before Lady Jillian, the mistress of King Adrian. So I want to see if Lady Jillian has had her baby yet, or if she's about to have her baby. It looks like she has not had the baby yet, but I want to see if she's about to, because I think a few days have passed by since she was pregnant. I'm like, there's got to be a good amount of days that's passed by. So I'm, she's got to in her third trimester, I think. I hope so, because I really want to see the baby. If not, we will go check up on Lady Harmony, who we had banished to Strangerville, but you guys can at least see. So this is now, oh my gosh, she's so pregnant. She has to be having her baby soon, I would think. Okay, so, oh, okay, today is lottery day, I guess. Um, But, so Lady Jillian, or now Duchess Jill, she has become the Duchess of Willow Creek. Um, and technically, we I still like Duchess Olivia because I still want her to keep her name when she dies because that's what's engraved on their on their tombstone or on their urn or whatever. Um, so I just kept Duchess Olivia, but technically she's not the Duchess anymore. I know that's really confusing, but yeah. Um, so uh, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna be so used to calling her Lady Jillian, um, but Duchess Jill, so she is supposed to be having her baby soon. So hopefully she will in the next few seconds that I'm filming this. Um, so this is their, this is her new house. It is a gorgeous house. So this is Willow Creek, as you guys know, it's raining, so everything looks like like super, super dreary, but at least you guys can see. So she has gotten married to Duke Harrison. Oh, she's actually off to work, but she should be having her baby at some point, I think. Um, but so yeah, so she's gotten married to Duke Harrison and she is like, okay, so I just feel like she was, she did not want to be banished because I feel like she might have heard about Lady Harmony. And I feel like she was like, okay, well, I don't want that to happen to me. So I think, I feel like she confided in her mother and her mother probably knew about the affair and her mother helped her find someone for her to marry like right away. So that means that she did have to give up her title, but, but she got a better title. So I think it's fine. Plus she has a younger sister who can take the title anyway. So she's honestly fine. Um, so I need to just fill their needs a little bit to make them all happy. Um, and then hopefully she will be having her baby. So she should be. I mean, if she's in her third trimester already, I'm pretty sure she will. Um, okay. But yeah, so Duke Harrison. So he's, this is Duke Harrison. He is honestly like very, very good looking. Oh, and she's gone into labor. Yay. Okay. So Duchess Jillian has gone into labor. So we're going to have her have her baby, have baby. There must, oh, I don't know if there's actually a bassinet here. So there might be another floating baby. Um, but let's go ahead and have you have the baby. So you need to get inside because it's raining like crazy right now. So yeah, it looks like this is about to be a floating baby. So just a heads up. Oh my gosh, you guys, she had a baby girl. I feel like King Adrian's, all of his mistresses have girls. He has one boy, but like the rest are all girls. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have a list of baby names that I've, I've gotten suggestions from. This one was really cool that I got suggested. Um, it was Lady Isadora. So it's spelled, and I think, I think I'm think i definitely gonna take the same. So Lady Isadora. Oh, no, I spelled that wrong. Although Isadora sounds like a really cool name too, but Isadora. Um, so I was kind of thinking of stealing this for the Dynasty series, but I think this is actually really cool for the Royal series too. This might, this sounds a little bit more like a Royal series name, so I think we'll keep it for this. But it's just such a cool name and it's so different. It's really different. I kind of want to know what that means. What does that mean? Okay, so Isadora means gift of Isis. So that's kind of cool. It's saying that it has like a really special meaning online, but like it's not really like getting much into it. Um, so I, I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Honestly, I, I I like it a lot. I We're definitely going to keep this. So Lady Isadora Willow, which reminds me, I did not change her last name to Willow. So I'll probably have to do that too. So I will do that eventually. I was like waiting for her to have twins because I thought that would have happened, but it did not. So thank God. So Lady Isadora, you guys. So this is, oh my God, she is just floating legs though. Holy mother of, and we should probably get a crib. I'm going to give her a crib because I, I don't like floating babies. They seem weird to me. Oh my God. I found the bunk beds, you guys. I was looking for these bunk beds in my in my uh, SimSelf Legacy Challenge, and I could not find them anywhere. So now I know. What are they called? They're called Al Wine Kids Room Single Bed Double Frame. Okay, okay, I know they're here now. I I know they're. I just kind of want to see what they look like because I wasn't sure. <gasps> okay, they're actual bunk beds, guys. I I literally could not find them anywhere when I was doing my Legacy Challenge, and it was driving me insane. Okay. 
But now I have a crib and I'm gonna bring this upstairs because I don't think she should have the crib downstairs. So let's put it in, yep, let's put it right here in this room with the like broken dollhouse. That's not good. Let's just get rid of these for now and then I will change it later. So I will put the crib right there. Although I don't know if that matches very well with the room, but I think it's so cute. Let's do like a little pink crib. Okay. So she is just a pair of legs, apparently, but this is Lady Isadora, you guys. She probably should not invite over King Adrian to see the baby any anytime soon. She, I wonder if she would even tell King Adrian that she's had a baby. Probably, because like that would mean really good things for the family, but she's already a duchess. Like she, she was very successful in finding a husband, honestly. So I think that she's just, we need to change her dirty diaper and then feed her. Let's bottle feed her. Um, and then, yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And then in the next episode, we can go see Lady Harmony and we can also see their baby. We can check out the other babies of King Adrian as well and maybe age them up into toddlers. Oh yeah. We, oh, I was supposed to do that. Wasn't I? I was supposed to age up Lady Bear's children into toddlers. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. I think I have a little bit of time. Okay. Oh my God. More floating baby legs, guys. <laughs> I forgot. I did not give them a crib okay so well since we have a duke addy right here he's gonna age up who he thinks are his children who was older i think the girl was older so lord benjamin and then lady cara so let's age up lady cara first and we're gonna see what they look like because right now just as babies they look very different and i'm very curious to see how they're gonna age up because they're twins but they might not even look like twins at all so that will be interesting Okay, so Lady Kara has aged up. Let's make her, let's make her silly. I think that'll be fun. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay, so she has Duchess Blair's hair. So really no surprise there. She looks exactly like Duchess Blair. So there's no suspicion, I think, happening with Duke Addy right now. Yeah, honestly, she looks exactly like Duchess Blair. Yeah, so I don't think he suspects anything at the moment. Um, but let's go ahead and also age up her twin brother, Duke, or not Duke Benjamin, Lord Benjamin. Um, and then we can see what he's gonna look like. I honestly love that we're just aging up floating babies. Like, it's so, so weird to me. But he is aging up now, so we can see what he's gonna look like. <gasps> okay. Duke or Lord Benjamin has aged up. Let's make him, let's make him independent. Okay, and he also looks like Duchess Blair. Wow, as babies, they looked completely different. Like Duke, or I keep calling him Duke Benjamin. Lord Benjamin was just like, he looked so much, so much darker than, than his sister did, but they look exactly like Lady Blair, or not Lady Blair anymore. It's Duchess Blair. Um, so guys, there. I don't know. I don't know if Ducati suspects anything because I really think that like if they look exactly like Duchess Blair, there's really no reason for suspicion. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about King Henry and possibly Lady Ava having a thing. And I know some of you guys were so so against it, but like just think about it. Like I feel like Lady or Queen Alice would definitely want King Henry to be happy. She loved him a lot and she would just want him to be happy. So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you think about Prince Kellen and Lady Arya and his romantic interest in her. Cause I don't know if Lady Arya actually is interested in him, but I feel like maybe it's like Prince Kellen is interested in her, but I don't know. Cause he's dating Princess Meghan. So you guys have to tell me what you think about that. And then, yeah, let me know what you think of the babies, King Adrian's bastard children that we have had age up and then his new daughter, Lady Isadora as well. So yeah, guys, this was an exciting episode. I really loved filming this, but let me know what you guys think. If you liked it, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications so you never miss another one of these videos. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.